security and we're an authorised automist installer. We've teamed up with Plumist to create a video case study to demonstrate what an installation process would look like and get some questions answered from one of our most recent clients. We recently moved from Bristol down to Devon. We're in a little village uh, here called Beer. And um, we have a disabled daughter, 20 years old, and we wanted to build something that had independent living space for her. And uh, as we designed the house, we realized that uh, to get to her living space from perhaps where we're sleeping, we were gonna have to go through the main living area. And that main living area was where the kitchen was, it's where a wood-burning stove is. And we were just really worried that one night there would be some sort of emergency and I wouldn't be able to get to our daughter. So when you stumbled across the Plumer system in particular, the Automa system, what was it about that that stood out to you? I'm a technologist, so yeah. I liked the technology. I liked the tracking technology. Yeah. I was particularly impressed by the, uh, the low amount of water that is used for the yeah. effect that it's going to give. Because obviously, you know, we're building a new house here. Yeah. What we don't want to do is, is drench it if there yeah. was some sort of problem, but we do want to try and protect it if we can. Yeah. So that new capability of using a small amount of water, high pressure yeah. misting, to be able to suppress a fire, and the technology behind it really appealed to me. Yeah, I mean, to pick up on that, like we, we use 5.6 litres of water a minute, as opposed to a, tradi a traditional sprinkler that uses close to 80 litres. So 100%, there's a massive saving in terms of what, what might happen to the property if that was was to activate anyway. It's the best thing you hope you never use. Yeah, 100%. And so where you're in a, situ a situation where you have a vulnerable adult yeah. uh, who either you cannot get to in the yeah. event of a fire in, in the main living area or is going to walk into smoke, Yeah. When, when you look at those issues, being able to suppress that fire in a system that's not going to cause terrible damage then yeah. to the rest of the uh, rest of your property, mm. it's an absolutely perfect, it's an absolutely perfect decision and uh, we really felt that you as an organisation understood what we were trying to achieve uh, and help us to achieve yeah. a system that was affordable. So once this triggers, the spray head will then use its built-in infrared scanner and take a thermal photo of the room. If it sees that rise in temperature, the spray head will then target the source of the fire and spray the mist and extinguish it. So with the design process, why don't you sort of talk us through like the experience from your side? I, I think this was important to us because we, we knew what we wanted to achieve and had no idea how to achieve it. Yeah. Um, so we were very pleased that the first thing you did was ask us for floor plans. We wanted yeah. to see uh, where our daughter was going to be, where we were trying to get to and the issues and you identified the problem straight away yeah. and the risk areas. Uh, then it was really a case of trying to understand, you know, where do we want to, to put the spray heads? Uh, how, yeah. how are we going to make them work within in the rooms? Because, of course, uh, we're, we're also designing a house that is, yeah. is interior designed and we want to make sure that we don't use up a whole wall that would have a picture just with a yeah. spray head on the, uh, in the middle of it. So you worked with us uh, both uh, on the phone, on a Zoom call, looking at the plans to, to really help us to understand where things needed to be to provide the best coverage, yeah. but also that would just, just blend away within the design for that room. Yeah. And I think what we've been really impressed with is that when we've now come on site and we're now here in a, in a, yeah. in a house, uh, the flexibility that you've had today in helping yeah. us to understand the positioning of sensors, helping us to understand where we can put things to, to yeah. work the best, but also work within the design of the house. So we've really appreciated that flexibility.
So we're back with Nick and Lily, um, a few months on, quite a different property to when we were here last time. How have you found it all, how have it all been? New house, new dog. Um, yeah, it's lovely to be into a property after sort of a year and a half of build yeah. and four years of a project. Yeah. Um, so yeah, very nice to be in, but still no pictures on the walls yeah. and still, you know, sort of early stage trying to find our feet, but it's, uh, it's, it's a lovely place to be able to live. Yeah, it's ongoing, so to speak. <laughs> How did you, let's go through the sort of automist of the South of Plymouth installation. How did you find that? What was, did you come across any barriers that you faced? How did the journey of that go? I think when you're doing any sort of new build, uh, you come up against things that you realise you don't know anything about. Yeah. And uh, one of the things was, you know, wanting to provide some sort of fire suppression in the house, but realising you know nothing about it. Yeah. And so just having you guys in to understand what we were trying to achieve, it yeah. essentially access to our daughter, disabled daughter, uh, and then being able to design a system that uh, not only covers all of the primary areas and, yeah. and covers the, the, the routes through the house that we would want to have protected, um, but also do so in a system that is, is not uh, overridingly visual. Yeah. Because when you try to design a house uh, and make it look nice, yeah. but what you don't want are, are these, these sort of huge spray systems around the place to achieve that. So your people were excellent in helping us to design a system that covered the key areas yeah. uh, to enable us to achieve what we wanted to achieve mm -hmm. and do so in a way that doesn't compromise on the integrity of the design of a house. Yeah, We had what was a, a bit of an anomaly with your one was when we met on site for the first time, we actually redesigned to interlink the fire alarm to the automate system. Um, and do you want to explain why you sort of decided to go down that route? Well, because an expert um, su suggested we should. Again, it's coming yeah. back to the things that you think you know something about yeah. and when you actually look at it, you don't. So you suddenly realise that the law requires you to have smoke alarms. Yeah. Uh, and, and so we would have smoke alarms and we've got this system. So yeah. when we begin talking about it and you describe the ability for a fire panel to integrate everything yeah. together so you have a, a holistic fire management system. Yeah then that, that was definitely worth doing. And, uh, and again, it, it, it keeps the, uh, the infrastructure, uh, both yeah. visible and visible, to, to a minimum. So from our side, when we came down, we came down on two visits um, and did the sort of first fix sort of side of things. Did you, would, do you have any feedback? How did that sort of go for you? It went extremely well. Um, the, uh, the engineers that were on site worked really well because they were working in quite a difficult environment at yeah. the time, yeah. working in what was a house being built on top of them uh, mm. as, as they were working uh, and having to work around the other trades as well. That, that can often be difficult, uh, but that went extremely well and that, that first fix uh, went uh, with, without difficulty. Uh, and I think what was, was really useful was um, actually as we began to then progress in the build we realized that some of your some of the yeah. water feeds just weren't going to work where they yeah. were and you guys were fantastic in getting back on site working with us to to reroute some of that uh, yeah. some of those hoses so that we could you know make roof designs work and things like that the second fix for the side of things what did you use how did that go for you what did you find from that that was, I think, where especially my wife, who is much more interested in the aesthetics yeah. than I am, was really, really concerned about it. Yeah. Um, because you've just got this picture of these, these steel plates on yeah. the wall. Actually, what has been notable, and um, we had housewarming here just a few weeks ago, is how few people asked what they were. Yeah. Uh, and I sort of expected, every time someone came in, for them to go, what's this? Tap, tap, yeah, tap. Yeah, yeah. Um, but actually, it, it's only been the... Um, the, but when I've done the technical tour of the house for yeah. friends that like the technology and the, mm. all the smart home stuff that they, you know, I point them out. But that just shows that actually the, the, the sort of the jet plates really do just disappear into yeah. the wall furniture uh, and don't stand out yeah. and, and be something that's incongruous within a, yeah. an overall design. So we've been really pleased with that. So how do you feel now the system's been installed? You know, it's one of those installations that... I hope never ever has to trigger. <laughs> yeah. So what what is it really providing mm -hmm. if it's something that statistically will never yeah. have to fire? And and that is peace of mind. Yeah. And there there's really no price on that within reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that original requirement of me being able to get to my disabled daughter and evacuate yeah. a house in the event of a fire. 
Yeah. We have achieved that. And so it does mean when it occurs to you, when you're lying in bed at night, um, you know, have I, have I put the fire down? Did I turn the hob off? Did I? Yeah. All those sorts of questions. Uh, could there be a problem in her independent living space kitchen? Uh, you know that there is something in place to enable you yeah. to achieve that escape. And, you know, that, that is worth everything. It, it's a funny thing to have something you hope you never use. Yeah. It's probably unique in the house, actually. Yeah. Um, but that peace of mind is, is quite extraordinary, and we're, we're very appreciative of the system here. What advice, or what would you say to someone who's considering protecting their property with the Plymouth Autonomy System? You know, I think if anybody is, is carrying out a brand new project, or indeed renovating, um, absolutely look at it absolutely yeah. think about it because you want to protect the bricks and mortar mm -hmm. you want to protect human life and potentially if you're building it for your family yeah. the, the life of your family and although i absolutely appreciate that budgets with new builds yeah. just have the tendency of running away yeah um, it is something that is now available that just sits away within the infrastructure mm -hmm. of the house it is not in your face all the yeah. time uh, and just potentially in that that one case where it needs to fire um, saves life and limb and saves the property so i think for any new build any renovation it should absolutely be looked at and costed at the very minimum yeah um, with the hope of having something in in place that that creates that sort of protection and safety for your family so nick thank you very much for the talk thanks for letting us come on two different occasions to disturb your busy days your busy weeks um, do you have sort of any final thoughts or anything from your experience using Chillman putting in the Plumas system? Um, just the professionalism uh, in the way that you handle the planning, you handle the installation and, and then dealt with challenges uh, yeah. along the way because when you're doing a new build you're having many 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 challenges yeah. every day and so when you have a supplier that just comes and does the job they've got to do and, and deals with the challenges that come up that's exactly what you need. And uh, you really can't put a price uh, on the feeling of safety that you get once this yeah. is in and commissioned. Yeah, well, it's great to kind of have a look around and see the actual finished product. It's a beautiful home. And as you say, hopefully we'll see you in 12 months. And that's it. Catch will be on. <laughs> Thanks very much.